Bunny's Craft. Hey guys, welcome back to another Bunny's Craft. Today I have a really great craft lined up for you. I saw this on the internet and I thought I totally have to make this because it is so awesome. So this is for a Tom Riddle's diary. For my diary I used 56 pieces of white A4 paper, scissors, a gold pen, a ruler, black fake leather, black or white thread and needle, PVA glue, card, a paintbrush, tea bag and a glue gun. First of all you need to create signatures. This is simply four pieces of A4 white paper folded in half and then stacked between each other. This is your signature. Do this to all your pieces of paper to get 15 signatures all together. Next you need to mark your signatures with inch spaces. I started from the middle and then marked outwards. Do this to one signature and then put on the top of your other signatures and just rule down instead of doing this to everyone individually. Once you've done this, unfold your signatures and poke a needle through each hole. This is where your binding will be. Make sure you keep your signatures in order or else your markings may be a little bit off. Next part you need a long piece of thread and then double it over so it's two strands thick. Create a knot in the end and then poke through the first hole in your first signature. Go up one hole and then down the other and then up the next and so on. You should have spaces between each piece of thread as you can see. When you get to the end, go back and sew through the holes again. All the thread should be joined now and no gaps. When you get back to your first hole, poke through and create a knot and then go back through the same hole so the knot gets pulled to the back. Grab your next signature and poke through the first hole again. Poke through the second and then put your needle underneath the thread of the first signature and create a knot. Go back through the same hole and then go through the third hole and again poke needle through the thread on the first signature and create another knot. Again poke through the same hole and then poke through the fourth hole and poke your thread around the first piece of thread in your first signature and create a knot. I did make a mistake but just ignore that. Repeat these steps through to the end This third signature is a little different but it's the same for the rest of your signatures. As you can see you start at the other end so just poke your needle through the hole, come through the second and then you wrap your needle around the thread between your third and second signature. It's easier if you open your book up to wrap the needle around the thread but then just complete this to the end and carry this on with all your signatures. If this really doesn't make sense I've linked a link below that shows you how to bind properly and this is my first go and I really don't know how to describe it to you but I tried and if you didn't get it just check the link below and I hope that helps. Next you need to tea stain your pages. All I did was brew my tea and use a paintbrush to paint on the tea. Halfway I realised that flicking the tea is better, so half my pages have flicked tea and half have painted tea. Personally I prefer the flicked tea because it gives it a better effect, but whatever you choose will be awesome anyway. Well with this I got a little bit carried away with the paintbrush and layered on the tea. This is really bad because it went to my binding and my first signature started to tear away from the thread. So do not do that. If you have a spray bottle that is really helpful because you don't use much tea and it gives it a good effect without using a lot of tea. So just be cautious when you do that. Don't use too much tea. 
and just do this on the front of each page because it will darken and soak through when it dries so you don't need to do the front and back of each page. Leave this overnight to dry or to speed it up use a hair dryer or leave it outside if it's sunny. But whilst it's drying get two A4 pieces of paper or some thick paper and do the same T effect. This is what it looks like when it dries, it goes quite big, so just get some heavy books and press it. Next get your PVA glue and glue the spine of the book. This will help sturdy it and keep the thread in place. Place some baking paper on top so it doesn't stick to your book and then the heavy book on top. Next with your two A4 pieces of stained paper, just fold in half. Because I used paper, I used some cardboard to reinforce half the sides of each of them. This is just to make it thicker when I glue it onto the cover. If it overhangs, just cut off the extra. Glue a quarter of an inch of glue on the front and back page and just press these two A4 pieces on with the card on the top, if that's how you've done it. Again, place some parchment paper and a heavy book on top to press. Next, get half an A4 piece of paper and cover in glue. This will just reinforce the spine and keep it all in place. Next, you need to trace your cover. So put the spine on your piece of fabric and pull down the end page and trace around then trace the spine and then pull down the first page and trace around that. You then need to do a border around this. I did a centimetre and traced all the way around. After this I did another two centimetre border. This is where you will fold your fabric down and then just cut this out. Cut off each corner as you will be folding these down, glue between the 1cm border and then fold down your 2cm border and do this all the way round. Use PVA glue or some fabric glue to glue the front and the back cover of your book. I originally tried hot glue but this wouldn't stick to the inside of the fabric. Place the spine on your fabric and pull down your front cover and press and repeat with the other side pressing firmly so the glue stick. You can press this again while you wait for it to dry. Next you can create your corners of your book. This is just a decoration like you see in the movie. I just cut out this design and placed it on some brown paper and cut them out. I then drew a design on them and stuck them with hot glue on the corner of my book. You can draw any design you like, it doesn't have to be the same. As you can see I added some more paper just to tidy up the edges. I then got two strips of washi tape and traced on the Tom Marvolo Riddle. My pen was really thick so it didn't go too great but I did manage to get this off with some perfume and rewrite it. But hey here you go this is your Tom Riddle diary. I think it's great and I've never done this sort of book or any type of book before, especially not binding, but when I saw it I just fell in love. I love Harry Potter. It did take a while but it was really really fun. I am super super happy how this turned out and, and I think it's really cool. So if you like this craft give it a like. I would love to know your thoughts as always so do comment and don't forget to subscribe for more crafts. But yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!